Greetings, my name is Malactus, and this is a demonstration video of my plugin for VRM add-ons. Here I have an avatar that is basically basic on basic avatar with nothing on it. So if I check the the structure, I have everything basically set up here so that I have it would be otherwise a valid VRM model, but there's some problems with it. As, as a, some more experienced people may notice that it is not in TPOS and I have nothing bound to it. So I have no blend shape proxies and I have no and I have no uh, spring or bone groups. So my plugin helps with this automation. First of all, I'm just making sure that the required bones are set. They are set. So the next step, what I'm going to do is at least give myself my my uh, model version number and some basic details so I can find it easier. And my add-on adds a VRM0 mal AV tools tab down here in the bottom in the side when you have a VRM model selected. It will also work when you're just selecting uh, when you have nothing selected it also allows you to create a reference model uh, reference armature. So here I have a reference armature. This is based on a VRM0 VRM standard. If I select the armature for that has that is VRM compatible, as in which VRM add-on has recognized as being an armature, I can now press some buttons to basically test my T pose. So here, it my avatar is forced into a T pose. This is again dependent on how this is bound. These values are bound. Uh, it'll try to also do best guesses. So if some bones are missing, for example, for the optional finger bones, uh, it will try to skip bones as well, but I have not tested that very far. In any case, this this view allows you to go here and, for example, fix some issues with the bone positionings. So for example, here I see again my thumb has some issues, so I can do some adjustments. I only need to I only need to position, so I'm not doing any rotations, just positioning it so that it looks a bit nicer. If I do any rotations, so for example here I'm just going to do this. If I do hit the test T-pose again, it'll simply just straighten it towards the T-pose reference. Uh, I'm just going to double check my thumb. My thumb does not look good and I probably have to do some model fixes here, but for demonstration fixes, uh, I'm not gonna do that much stuff here. Actually, I could, it, it could use some weight paint, but um, fixes. In any case, the next step I want to do is I want to make sure that um, I have all the the, uh, the shape keys bound. So um, my plugin supports uh, VRM, VSF, ARK8, Meta, HTC, and some basic MMD shape keys. So all of this can be bound using the tools. Uh, but my avatar currently supports only VSF and VRM shape keys. So if we again check my proxies here, I have nothing bound. So I can have to just go here and press VRM shape keys, VSF shape keys. And now all of those are bound. So all of these are bound that it can that my script can find. If I happen to have some additional stuff here, for example, I have additional mesh uh, that have also shape keys similar to these. Like if you have a shape key for a accessory like a piercing or something like that that follows the shape, uh, this actually will bind those as well. So you don't have to worry about those. In any case, I have now bound my shape keys. I have tested my T-pose. The next thing I want to do is bone dynamics. So I'm going to go to pulse mode. Now I have additional tools here on the left hand side, which is spring bone extra tools. I'm going to want to make a couple of spring bone groups. I have a couple of items here that I want to make sure to be dynamic, that be animated with dynamics or spring bones. So I'm going to go and categorize all my fluffs, all the hair and everything else. So I'm just going to select the root bones of all of these. Like so. And for demonstration purposes, I'm also going to make this visible for everyone to see here. So right now I have no spring bone groups. I'm going to use this tool add selected as spring bone group. It's going to crank in the background a bit. And now it has created a spring bone group of all of those objects that I selected. 
So that, that helps with that automation. Here I'm gonna select these ear bones and make them into their own group. As seen, here's an ear group. And I'm also gonna add my tail group, tail group here. So now I have three different spring bone groups I can define and edit. I also want to make sure that when I'm using hand tracking or anything else, um, and when I touch these elements, as these have already some default hit radiuses, I also want to make sure that my hands and my fingers collide with it. So I'm going to select my hand bone and my finger bone and just say add selected as colliders. So that just adds the spring bone colliders to the groupings and that should do that. I'm also going to add an extra head bone collider here. And because I did it through my add-on, it also adds the, the colliders into the spring bone groups. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, the only thing I may have to do is adjust the size of the head bone collider here. Before exporting, I need to make sure to make this permanent, since this is just a pose, and I, my character has blend shapes. So here, I have blend shapes. Normally, this would take a lot of time to basically reposition this entire, all of the shape keys to this new pose. However, there's a fantastic tool by Presamir, which is called Apply Modify for Shape Keys with Blend Shapes, with Shape Keys. Uh, objective shape keys and um, this tool is baked in to my add-on and with this I can just finalize the t-pose. This action is destructive so use this only when you are ready. Uh, it will duplicate everything that uh, the uh, children of the selected armature so when I press this it's gonna do a lot of the stuff in the background, find all the shape keys and all of that on a duplicate. So now I have a duplicate. Actually, I'm going to move these extra stuff outside of that. Now I have an armature, what is permanently set to this position. The shape keys are set, so I can just double check here. It's set. All of my VRM settings are there. And if I ever need to return back to my original mesh, I have it still here. So it's here in the background. I can return to that, but now I have uh, basically a VRM baked version of the entire project. And all of these are readily bound to the VRM, so all of those have migrated over. Now the only thing that remains is exporting this to your favorite VTuber software. So here I'm just going to export it and just call it experiment new. And wait till the export is done. And as you can see, uh, my blend shapes and everything are set there, and it did not take me any lo much longer than 10 minutes, which is fantastic. And as you can see, aside from maybe some minor adjustments that I have to do with the positioning of the bones, um, I have to say that that is actually pretty decent. I hope you enjoy this plugin. If you like supporting me, go to my Ko-Fi at Manactus. Thanks for watching.